In this video, I'll be showing you how to get started with using the Indoor Atlas API on Android devices. Indoor Atlas is an API that can be used to get location updates indoors when there is no GPS available to get your location. So let us get started by creating a basic bare bones application that uses this API. So the first step is to get an API key. You can get an API key by registering at the Indoor Atlas website and creating a new application which will give you an API key and the API secret. Next, you need to add this API key and the API secret to the manifest file of your Android project. Once you are done with adding the API key and the API secret, next you need to add the dependencies for your project. Since you are using the Indoor Atlas API, you need to add the compile time dependency for the Indoor Atlas SDK 2.0 API. And along with that, you need to specify the repository from which Android Studio can get this dependency. And all of this need to be specified in the build.gradle file of your application. Once you're done adding the dependencies, the last thing is to add the permissions. You need to add these three permissions to the Android manifest.xml file. So once you are done adding the API key and the secret, adding the permissions and adding the dependencies to your project, you can start building your application by using the Indoor Atlas API. Now let us see how this API works. To get location updates, there are two aspects to this service. One is the location manager, another is the location listener. You request location updates to the location manager and you handle the location updates in the location listener. Basically, the location manager delivers the location updates to the location listener. Now you know how this works. Let us put this in practice by creating a basic Android application. So I have created a project in Android Studio. Let us first go to the application manifest and add the permissions required for our application. Please note that if you're targeting devices with Android 6.0 and all the future devices, you need to ask for permissions at runtime. Now, since we are not targeting Android 6.0 in this project, we can skip that part. Now you need to add the dependencies in the build.gradle file of your application. So that is the dependency for Indoor Atlas SDK 2.0 that we have added. And then we need to add the repository. Okay, now the last thing that remains is to add the API key and the API secret. Now that needs to be added in the Android manifest file and inside the application tag. So I have added the metadata in the application that specifies the API key and the secret. Also notice that since you have changed the Gradle files, you need to sync the project again. Once syncing is done, you can start building your application by using the API. Now I have already created the layout for this application. We'll be showing the received location updates in this text view. Now let us go to the main activity. Recall that there are two important aspects to Indoor Atlas's location service. One is the location manager, another is the location listener. So let us first declare the location manager. Next is the location listener. So that is IA location listener and we will create a new location listener here. It gives us two functions that will be called when a location is changed or when the status is changed. Now when the location is changed, we'll update our text view with the new location here. The latitude and the longitude are stored in this IA location object. Now we have initialized the location listener, but remember that we have not yet created the location manager object. So in the on create of our activity, let us create a new location manager. You can create the location manager by using the create method of IA location manager class and by passing the current context to it. Now you have the location manager. Now you need to start receiving location updates from this location manager. So we can do this in the onResume method of our activity. 
you can use the request location updates function to make a new request for getting location updates. So you need to specify it a new request and a listener. So let us create a new request. So we have created a new request and pass it where the location updates will be delivered. So the location updates should be delivered to our listener. So we'll pass our listener object to it. Now our application can start receiving location updates. Now let us do some cleanup activities here. Since getting location updates is a battery intensive task, you need to stop receiving updates when your application is paused. So in the on pause method of our activity, we will stop receiving location updates. So we will use this remove location updates function and pass on the location listener to it. So when your application is paused, the service will stop sending you location updates. Okay. Now, when our application is destroyed, we need to stop the location updates altogether and clean up all the memory. So for that, in the onDestroy function of our activity, we will destroy the location manager. So there you go. We have created a basic application that can receive location updates. Now let us put this to test.